Today, we're learning all about textures in motion graphics. Here's what we're talking about, adding this really cool texture here that looks like this is distressed. There's a little bit of the background showing through here on these letters. And of course, we have the kind of specs and texture here that's all over everything. So let's just take all of our textures off of here so we can see what's going on. So this is the comp with no textures at all. Here's kind of how this concept works. First, we need some graphic to apply the texture to. This can be text, this can be a shape, an element, doesn't matter. And then we have, of course, the texture that we want to apply to it. One of the ways we can apply the texture is to put the texture on top and then change the apply mode of the merge for our texture. So if we set this to something like screen, that's only going to use the lighter pixels and as things get darker, they get more transparent. Sort of the opposite of that is multiply, where we're pretty much just putting over the darker pixels and the lighter pixels get transparent. And you could play around with different apply modes and get a lot of different results. On top of that, you can pick an apply mode and then adjust the blend of the merge to make that effect less pronounced. And this method is really just using like two layers. We have the original shape as well as the texture with a certain apply mode. And when you combine those, you get magic. Magic. But we can also use this texture as a mask. So if we connect it to the mask input of whatever we're trying to add a texture to, and then we combine them, by default, that element is only gonna show up where our texture is. It's gonna use the alpha channel or the transparency. But we can set that mask input here in the settings of whatever we're trying to mask. Down here where it says channel, we can switch this from alpha to luminance. And as we do that, it will use the brightness values of that texture. So instead of just putting the texture over it, we're using the brightness values as a mat to control the transparency of whatever we're adding the texture to. I also have a free workshop on the nine nodes you need to know to make almost anything in Fusion. Click this link to get it right now. So here in our example, we can do a couple things. One thing that I did was take a texture. This is just this black and white texture. And I did a little bit of brightness and contrast just to squish some of those darker parts down to black and make the white parts just a little bit whiter. And then I inverted the colors. You can use an invert color effect to do that. That makes the black pixels white and the white pixels black. Then we put this over everything with a merge and we set this apply mode to multiply. And that will add these little dark specks over everything. It'll, it'll also give a little kind of texture to the background because not all of the specks are perfectly black. Some of them are gray and that does a nice job. I did a similar thing with another element here, this kind of spotted texture. And I put that into a merge and changed the apply mode to screen. That's just gonna keep the white parts. And then I blended it down a little bit like that. So now with both of those textures on there, we have the white speckles and the black speckles. We can also use the textures as luma mats. So for instance, if I want to distress this bottom bar, I can start with a texture like this. And then again, let's invert the color. Then I'll transform this to be just where I want it. And I can hook it up to the mask input of our merge. And then whatever merge I have putting this bar over our comp, I can take the output of our transform for our texture and put that into the mask input and nothing happens. But if I select this merge and go over to settings and under channel, instead of alpha, I'll switch this to luminance. And now look what we have going on. All the areas that would be black on this texture were turning transparent for this merge. I did a similar thing with the upper bar name texture and I lined up this edge along with the edge of our graphics. So now we have this distressed texture, so easy to add. And we can combine all these techniques together to have a really nice look. I could even take this texture here and plug this into the mask input of my text, like that. My text, I can change this channel to luminance. And that's only going to show that blue text where the texture is lighter. And I can even do a little bit of contrast adjustment here in this little kind of threshold slider. And so I can make some adjustments here without even having to add a brightness and contrast or anything like that to my texture itself. I can do that here within my text node and I can dial this in, which is so convenient. And there we get some really nice results with that texturized text. And it all comes together and looks very cool. I hope you learned a lot. Make sure to check out that free workshop, the nine nodes you need to know to make almost anything in Fusion. If you are brand new to Fusion, this is just the best. It'll help you get rolling in no time. Thanks for hanging with me. Appreciate it. You're, you're, just, you're just so cool. 
And I wanted to, I wanted to see if you wanted to maybe go to an activity with me at some point. 